Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to another episode of When Spirit Speaks podcast. Uh, Jackie Tomlin here. Great to see you guys. Uh, I know my voice is a little raspy. I can assure y'all I've been sick. I bought the New Year in sick, unfortunately. I feel fantastic, but it has cost me my voice. Uh, a little raspy today, but I really wanted to get on here so we could get those January messages out to you. So let's start with my contact information, okay? If you're seeking a personal reading or want to contact me for anything, you may reach me on my website, and that is JackieTomlin.com. You may also text me at 804-731-2302. If you guys are seeking those videos on the readings, it's uh, my YouTube channel, which is YouTube.com backslash Psychic Jackie. Now, those little daily videos that you love We'll be back next week. I plan on getting off this week, but as I said, I've been sick. So they will be back next week. Also on the website, you will find your horoscopes for the month of January, as well as a briefing for the year of 2024. Now, very seldom do I see a year of what I would call um, a 20 year. Okay. Just my personal nickname for it. And what I mean by that, is every now and then we have a year that reflects 20 years ago. And that's exactly what I'm seeing for 2024. So my question is to you, what were you doing in 2004? What did your year look like in the year 2004? Because 2024 is going to mirror that that year. Okay. So we're going to get into these energies from Aries through Pisces with a quick collective. My voice will hold out um, at the very end. And just seeing what does spirit have for us? What are we going into here in January of 2024? Hope you guys have enjoyed your holidays, kicking off the new year on the right foot. Let's get into this. Let's get into this, guys. Uh, you're surrounded by a lot of people. This um, year for my Aries. Aries, we'll start with Aries. Sorry about that. Surrounded by a lot of people this month. A lot of people. A lot of busy a lot of busy, a lot of coming and going, okay? Um, a Libra jumps out here prominently, as well as a Leo that may or may not resonate with you, okay? Um, some of you are, like me, you're in a healing mode, uh, whether it's physical or emotional. But new money is coming into play, and that new money may result in a trip out of state. Very nice, very nice. Um, you're working and gaining hard work is paid off some type of celebration coming in. It's asking you to pay attention to the signs around you, signs and synchronicities. Okay. And with that, you are under the era of a new beginning, a powerful new beginning, really driving home the point that you're on the right path and that you get what you want. How cool is that? Strong, powerful messages here. For my Aries, you can also look for my singles and you love opportunity. Definitely a celebration coming up. Scorpio may resonate with some of you. And although we're out of Mercury Retro, I will have to say for the entire month of January, I do see you surrounded by a lot of people, but I also see unexpected company. And I will say twice, times two. So maybe two different visitors at two different occasions is what I'm seeing for my Aries. Okay. Let's get into Taurus. What's coming up for the month of January? What jumps out for the month of January? You know, you know, each week we'll keep a weekly check on things. This is just a overall what you should know in the month of January. What jumps out significantly? Okay, Taurus, you may be separated from someone or something at this time. If you are, you need to understand that it is uh, it's temporary. There's a good business deal at hand. Some of you may be dealing with another Taurus, a Leo, an Aquarius. There's new money coming into play. The help that you need is on the way. You two are on the right path, but I can tell you, it's not going to feel like, that. you're not going to feel that you are. Okay. Um, 
some kind of gossip or rumors here that you need to avoid. And it's because now you're on the right path, you're going to get what you want. When you start getting what you want, people start getting jealous. People start getting jealous. People start talking. Take the higher road. Take the higher road. The less attention you give them, the quicker it will pass by. Okay. Um, patience, pray, and ask for what you want. Um, there's also in your energy some kind of fake or false person there. And I think you know exactly who I'm talking about. Your drive for success is like really standing out here. And that's really going to pay off for you in a big way. Um, and it's because it's like something struck you that you finally realized that you deserve more. And you're going to reach a little further. And when you apply a little bit more effort, it's like just enough what you needed to top you off to get what you want. Looks like amazing energy for my Taurus. All right. Up next, we have Gemini. Gemini. Now, for my gems... You're also going to be surrounded by a lot of new people. A wave of emotions around you. Wave of emotion and a warning of your temper. Okay? Warning of your temper and a bad attitude. It's like get up on the wrong side of the bed or something here. For the entire month. But expect a new beginning. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Capricorn, or a Libra this month. You can also expect good luck and abundance. And more than one blessing will come in. Okay. Um, your energy is off. The best I can tell you, your energy is off. Uh, you need to do some of your energy work, which is your meditation, your grounding, your centering. Yoga, Reiki, something to recenter yourself, something to ground yourself. Usually I'll ask you to connect with nature when I see this on you. You're making travel plans. You need to be warned of frivolous spending. There's some intensity in love more towards the end of the month. Working and gaining, good business deal. Everything comes in towards the end of the month. So what I'm seeing with your anger appears to me it's nothing more than a patience problem. Well, you know, spirit slows you down for a reason. And we do have that good news will arrive when you least expect it. But there's something here you're holding on to an upset. And I think I spoke in the past podcast that it's time to clear your energy of the old so you allow the new to come in. So if you're finding yourself being set back, it may be a little bit more than spirit holding you back. Maybe that you're clinging on to something that no longer serves purpose to you. So, all right. Up next, we have cancer. Cancer, this is your January 2024. What do we have coming up for cancer? Okay, someone's playing the blame game. They're pointing the finger at you. It's easier to say it's all your fault. Wow. You know, you know you deserve more. You know it's not all your fault. Hold your head high. Okay. You need to expect the unexpected this month. Retro or not. You also need to expect some unexpected company. Now... You will get what you want, but I can tell you this, it's coming in, in any form you're not expecting. And the time frame, it's now, it's this month. You could also have an Aries that may or may not resonate with you. Some of you are looking at residential moves. Some of you are looking at traveling or you're a trip out of state. Is someone close to you, someone you already know, coming in as an unexpected offer of assistance? I want to throw out a Scorpio energy as well. 
there's going to be good news that comes in. And honestly, I think it has to do with a new love opportunity. Capricorn energy. It's asking you to pay attention to your dreams. And there is a spirit, very specific message that what you want, wants you, and it's just a matter of time. So, cancer, best I can tell you is bide your time. Looks like your wishes are coming true. All right. On into my Leos. Leo, I see you building something. Physically building something. Some kind of big project, construction project going on. A lot of emotions swirling around you as well. Then I have to ask you to dig for your patience. And we know you're a fire sign. You, too, have the unexpected company. If you're on top of your game this month, you've got a lot of people. A lot of people coming in and out your life this month. Okay? Uh, be warned of a shady person in your circle. You also are under the, the healing energy of physical and emotional. And the same thing. If you got any past energy lingering around, clear it out. Clear it out and welcome the new. You are under a new beginning and you will get what you want. I don't think it comes to like the third week of the, of the month though. Okay. You may have to clear some people out of your circle. Some people that you're just done with, time to walk away from. You also need to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around. Spirit's trying to speak to you. The help that you need is on the way. Be warned of getting into that woe always me syndrome. And you can also expect to reconnect with someone from your past. So this month for my Leos, it's really about people. A lot of people around. Some of these people you're choosing not to carry with you into the year 2024. And some of you are reuniting with people for 2024. So really people-based for you. All righty. Up next, we have Virgo. For my Virgos. Virgos, you're getting ready to reunite with someone from your past. There's also new money coming in. Uh, you are really on top of your game. You're taking back your power. You are like king of the mountain right now. Okay? You're counting your blessings because you've got more than one. And you still got blessings coming in. Good luck and abundance. You're on the right path. There's going to be a good business deal here. You, too, have the unexpected company, and I see a lot of people around. We've got another Virgo, Capricorn energy here, Gemini. You have too many people telling you what to do. Too many people being pulled in too many different directions. Take the stand and do you. Do what's right for you. Do what you want. Um, something you've been manifesting since fall will come into fruition. Pay attention to your dreams and move or there's, there's a message, strong message here for you to move forward on something. There's something you're delaying or something you're not doing. I don't know if you're fear, fearing failure, if you're fearing rejection, if your fear is just going to be a lesson well learned. You need to move forward on this and get it out of your energy. 
It will bring in a new emotional path. So everything looks really good around you, except for that one area. There's something you're wanting to do. You just haven't put taken the action to do it. Now, this is the month to take the action. It's like I said, you're on top of your game. You're under good luck and abundance. You're counting your blessings. Clear this out of your energy. All right. Up next, we have Libra. Libra, man, you are really hitting the new year hard, taking back your power, cranking out the orders. You are taking authority. You are doing things your way and no way but your way. Like this energy. There is a warning towards the end of the month. Um, be warned of your temper, particularly at work on, on or with a business deal. You have over half the Zodiac here. This tells me you're going to be surrounded by a numerous amount of people. Okay. Um, you can expect good luck and, and, and abundance and, and more than one blessing. Okay. Your drive for success is just so powerful. And it's so going to pay off. But I'll be honest with you. You may not get the full result of what you're working for until February. Also, it's time to express your feelings, both good and bad. You don't open up very often. You too, guys. Unexpected company. So far, it has been in every single sign. Um, I can say for my Libras, your unexpected company, to me, appears more towards the end of the month. But you do need to know that that is present as well. Guys, thank you for sticking with me and my voice. I have had so much tea and honey. Y'all have no idea. Okay, up next we have Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. We have for you. Scorpio, some of you are looking at a residential move. For some of you, this could be movement on the home front. Someone moving in, someone moving out. This could also be a sign of a large renovation, as well as the sign of... Um, an extended stay, or the movement of furniture. You do get what you want. There is also a large lease and or purchase. I see the signing of a legal document. Um, I have to tell you, there's going to be some secrets that are going to be revealed, Scorpio, and it's going to set your temper off. This is actually some type of confirmation to something you've already suspected. But it's gonna be it's gonna come in differently than what you expected it would. In other words, you suspected something, you're gonna get that confirmation, but the confirmation is coming in a different form than the way you thought it would roll around. Okay. And then it's gonna be the blame game. Someone's pointing the finger at you. Well, Scorpio, best I can tell you, best spirit has for you, take the higher road. Don't partake in that negative energy. Okay. Someone close to you is coming in for an unexpected offer of assistance. I'm going to say it's about mid-month. For my singles, there's going to be a new opportunity in love. There's also going to be some type of celebration. Some news that you've been waiting on is finally coming in. You're going to get the yes answer that you're seeking. 
And towards the end of the month, I really see you taking the time. Maybe you're going to take some time off or just get away. But I see you treating yourself. You're putting yourself first. All righty. Up next, clearing of the phone, my fellow Sagittarius. On behalf of my fellow Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Um, there is a warning here for you right off the bat. Uh, to not lash out at someone. And it's going to be hard not, not to. Because this person has either been dishonest with you. Or you have caught them watching you. Like stalking you. So it's going to be hard for you to not spout off. You are a fire sign. But you need to know it's the first, first message you come out. There's an ending here. Now, with that ending comes a new beginning because you can't have a new beginning without that ending. So there's something here that is going to sprout off your temper, brings about an ending, which has you embracing this powerful, powerful new beginning. Let go of all your negative thoughts. Don't let this person's ick linger around on you, okay? You do you because you're being true to yourself. Mid-month has you signing a contract. Large lease and or purchase. Okay. There's going to be some confirmation coming into you. Something you suspected. Um, it'll be different than your reg regular expectations. And yeah, again, we've got someone playing the blame game with you too. They blame you. Overall, what do we have here coming in your energy? New love opportunity. Now, this applies to my singles and my couples. So, as my couples, this could be the love of children, family, friends, anything like that. But for my singles, this is going to be significant. Libra and a Virgo may or may not resonate with you guys. You can expect the arrival of new money. New doors and new opportunities are going to be presented for you. But this month, one door closes and another door opens. And it's going to leave an impact, a significant impact for my Sagittarius. Okay, up next, Capricorn. Happy birthday, Capricorn. See what we have coming up for you. A lot of people around you. A lot of gossip about you as well. It's okay. Show strength is on your side and that you are actually dealing with a fake person. Capricorn, you're reuniting with someone from your past. Um, in particular, this may be a Sagittarius. You're on the right path and there's a new beginning in money. Feel a nervous energy around you guys, okay? The help that you need is on the way. There's some kind of exchange of apologies here. Um, no one was right. No one was wrong. It's just kind of mutually agreed on that you're calling a truce. But the help that you need is on the way. You get what you want, but it's coming in a different form than you expect. It's also coming from a different person than you're expecting. It's a huge message there. And at the end, there is new love. There's new energy. And there is you ready to celebrate at the month's end. Like break out the tap shoes celebration. Looks really good. Capricorn, I can say that the shift in your energy is powerful. It's very powerful. It's very lighthearted. It's a really good energy. All right. Up next, we have Aquarius. Aquarius, what does January hold for you?
All right, Aquarius. Strength is on your side, Aquarius. There's going to be a small wish granted, and there's a lot of people surrounding you. Some of you had to postpone Christmas, or there's postponing a gift exchange. I do see that. Some of you are continuing on with the holidays. You will reconnect with someone from the past and does show that you're on the right path. And there's new money coming in. Looks around mid-month. The help that you need is on the way. Wave of emotions here, including your temper. Kind of odd for my aquas. And what you want is coming in a different form than you expected. Someone close to you is coming in as an unexpected offer of assistance. And you too, you have a celebration coming up at the month's end, and it could be in regards to love. Looks good. All right. Y'all know how this goes. Last but not least, Pisces. Pisces, what does spirit have for you for the month of January? Pisces. Okay, we got a small wish granted. Pisces, you could be dealing with a Gemini energy. It's asking you to let go of your negative thoughts because it's about taking back your power. You're on top of your game. You might not feel it at the beginning of the month, but by mid-month, you will. It's like you're bouncing back strong. It's a celebration in hand. It's time for you to make decisions you've been putting off. You're going to do this because you're running. Good news arrives that causes you to let go of something in the past. Taking back your power. It's also time that you express your feelings, both good and bad. Aquarius may resonate. There's a good business deal. You're under a strong new beginning, and there's some delays here at the end of the month. These delays, watch your temper. You know what I'm about to tell you. These delays are in your favor, right? This is why I'm telling you, watch your temper. Uh, there's something to do with a good business deal or perhaps this business deal that you planned on coming through. There's going to be a delay at the end of the month. Overall, looks like a good month. All right, for my collective. Yay, my voice held out, right? All right, so this is for everyone. Just whatever spirit has for us for the month of January. What do we need to know? All my listeners, thank you guys. Thank y'all for a fantastic year. Looking forward to another fantastic year with you. Want to hear your show ideas, anything you want to share with me, you contact me on my website at jackfutelman.com. All right. Some of y'all are starting off the year with that woe always me syndrome. You need to let that energy go. This is a year about leave, moving forward and leaving emotional upsets behind. You do get what you want, but it's coming in a form that you're not expecting. It's also going to bring about a new emotional path. Capricorn may or may not resonate with you. Your powerful new beginning is now. But I can tell you, as a whole, something's about to move you out of your comfort zone. You can also expect unexpected company. Be warned of someone lying to you. Be warned of someone trying to start something with you. Pay attention to the signs around you. I know you hate it, but delays are in your favor. There will be a lesson we'll learn this month, but you will get what you want. A couple small wishes will be granted. Mm, expect the unexpected because the time is now. The time is now. So Virgo energy here too. And some of you are going ahead and making travel plans. Or the summer. 
Love this energy. Guys, this is what I have for you this week. I'm glad I was able to get through this. Um, don't forget to join me on YouTube at youtube.com backslash uh, Psychic Jackie. Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. Eastern. This is our $10 reading night. Starts around 7.30 p.m. So join me there. You guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you again next week. Bye.